Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to continue to work with following in physics. So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjazz.com, and then normally we hit the code, we go in and copy and copy that into an editor, but we've already been working on something. So let's go take a look at what we uh, did the last time. And that's in a, a page called Physics Follows. So that's zimjazz.com slash five, F-I-V-E, slash physics follow dot HTML. And you can take a look at the last video as well. Uh, let's see what we made. Right click here and open in browser. We made a circle that, in a physics world, that box these things around, and uh, indeed we follow to the edge there, uh, like so. And what we'd like to do is move along the bottom here and kind of jump over things or jump onto platforms. So this is kind of a top view at the moment, and what we'd like to do is turn it into a side view where we have gravity and we're jumping up onto platforms. We're going to try and do that in five minutes. Okay, close that down, and we'll come on into our code. This is the last code. Uh, we brought in our physics there. You can you know, have a look over the past video to find out how we did that and where we got that from. We've also added a background, a pizzazz background right here, so that we can kind of see as we move along. So there's the pizzazz background of, of the stripes. What we're going to do now is modify this code so that it has some gravity and um, can jump up into platforms. We're going to try and do that in five minutes. So let's start the timer. Are you ready? Uh, dun, 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 start. Okay, so um, here we go. Let's see. We'll make the size of it the backing dot width. And we'll also add some gravity. So there's physics gravity of 10. We won't bother with the size anymore. We've got our circle and we've got our things we were hitting into. We won't, we'll comment those out. Those. Here's our circle. We want to um, turn that instead of linear damping, we're going to turn this and have a density of 0.6. So that's a bit less than one. So that makes it easier to push around. And our control, though, we're going to give it a speed that is slower than default. So we'll give it a speed of 50. So this is a balancing act to make it jump at the right height and yet go the right height and stuff. And speaking of jumping, why don't we well, let's have a look at this. Before we have a look at it, we'll add a circle. New circle. We already have one circle, and we're going to add a circle to that circle. Does that sound fun? Uh, yellow. And you'll see why we do that in just a second. Dot center. This is how I tend to see if circles are moving. We'll dot center that on the circle. And um, dot move it over a little bit. Otherwise, it'd be right in the center. So we'll move it over 25. And not 225, just 25. And let's have a look in a browser. So open browser. Hey, hey, I don't even see that second circle. Where'd it go? We add it not to center, to circle. <laughs> Were you guys going, hey, no, no, no. Oh, did you see me type that? I'm going so fast. I'm too fast for myself. There it is. And now can you see that? As we move, we can tell that it's rolling. That's super. Woohoo. But we don't have jumping. So let's add some jumping in. And that would come from a frame dot on key down, key down, and we collect the E event in a, an arrow function there, and we say if E dot key code is double equal to 38, that's the arrow up, I guess, you uh, can use other things as well, then we will say circle that's not even close to circle. Circle dot impulse. Impulse. And zero in the X. So this is a force and we'll put it minus 100 in the Y. Again, that will be uh, up, to, up to you with your game and how much you want to jump. But there's basically what it looks like. Unfortunately, you can keep on jumping, but we'll tune that at the, at the very end if we get there. And now let's make some platforms. So new tile. And we can make that on a new rectangle. So we're going to tile rectangles 
rectangle like that, uh, well, about 400 by 70, keep it black. Dot center reg, which is important because we want to, any physics objects need to be center regged, otherwise they won't work properly. Um, and we'll make 10 of them and one row of them. So 10 column 10, uh, we'll space this out by quite a bit, I suppose. Uh, makes sense, so like a thousand or something like that. Oops, 1,000, and the spacing doesn't matter. We will pose that on the stage at, say, 500 in the X and something like 50 up. Uh, you can play around with this. These are the things you're going to be jumping on, but right now they're just uh, they're not they don't have physics in them because a tile will clone that. You need to uh, it won't clone the physics, so we'll need to loop through that tile, which means we need a name for it. Const platform platform platforms, I guess, and then we can say um, plat forms dot loop and each time we will get a plat we'll call it <laughs> plat that sounds pretty good uh, we'll get a plat and then we can add the physics to the plat so plat dot add physics like so um, now one thing is uh, it's a bit tricky dot add to uh, the stage, I'll explain that in just a second, that is adding it to the stage, and then we'll also put a false on there, so uh, there we go, and that should just about do it. Shall we um, take a peek, and we refresh here? Whoa, that's way the heck up there, right, uh, that's too high, can't reach that, so we'll say false, and we'll say true for anchor that on the bottom, and let's pause that timer, see how we did. How we did. And here we go. Hopefully that platform now is, uh, oops, sorry about that. So refresh here is what I want. Yay, we're on a platform. Super. We're rolling on a platform. We fall off the platform. And we didn't jump onto that platform. So <laughs> something, something happened to your sec. Oh, I, I know what it is. Uh, shall we start that timer going again? Um, you ready? Uh, we'll resume the timer and we'll put a comma true in there and we'll pause the timer. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's try and we'll explain that in just a second. So isn't that funny? Uh, here we go and now I'm jumping and we're back on the platforms. Can you believe just putting a true in there would, would cause that? And look, I can't get up on there unless I jump. Woohoo! So, ladies and gentlemen, we have a side scroller. All you have to do is add a couple more platforms in there. That that would be easy enough. To, oh, and we have this problem right here where we continue to jump. Okay, so I did say a little little tuning uh, might be necessary. So before we tune, though, let's just explain what what happened down here. When we tile, it makes these rectangles inside of a new container. And that new container we have placed at 500 and 50 high from the bottom. So uh, this would be 500 from the right hand side, but we, we didn't do that. Uh, this is 500 from the or 50 from the bottom. So that tile is not at zero zero. Any physics objects needs to be in a container that is at zero zero. Otherwise, the whole physics world doesn't line up. So there's a trick. If we want a tile, we can loop through. Uh, so here we are looping through that tile, which is a container. Each time we're getting one of these rectangles. And what we do is we say, take that rectangle and we add it to, that's basically adding it to the stage. And luckily, add to will by default remember the position. So even though this is in its own coordinate system, we're taking a rectangle out of that and putting it on a stage, um, we got so annoyed at having to reposition that because, say, the first rectangle would be at 0, 0 within here, though, uh, at 550. So what we'd end up doing is taking the platform out, putting it at 0, 0 on the stage, would be in the top left corner. It would be in the wrong place. So we got so tired of that in, uh, in, when using Zim that we said, okay, let's make the add to remember the location across the, across the coordinate systems. So, neat, huh? 
So basically what we're doing is we're taking we're using the tile to make it, and then we're taking them out of there and putting them onto the stage, which is a container that is at zero, zero. <laughs> Super duper. And then we're adding physics. If we didn't do that, it wouldn't work properly. Not only that, though, when we remove things from a container in a loop, you've got a loop backwards. Uh, you've probably heard me say that a bunch of times if you've seen any of these before or any of the Zim videos. When you remove something, say you, you're shooting monsters and your monsters are in um, a container, and you once you get a monster, you want to remove it from the container. Well, if you're looping through that container to find out if you've hit any monsters and you've removed something, you've got to loop backwards. Okay, that's just a that's how it goes. Otherwise, your index numbers all get mixed up. It's not a Zim thing. It's it's a Java. Well, it's a programming thing. It's a logical thing. You can't go forwards with index numbers and remove things because then all the subsequent index index numbers are broken. So you loop backwards, and Zim knows that, and so made a nice handy parameter there in the Zim loop that says, "Hey, if you want to loop backwards, just put a true there." That's why we were able to do that in two seconds. <laughs> okay, so that that was a, a little explanation of that. Sorry for racing through that. I, I would have liked to explain it as we went, but yeah, you got it there. Now, the one thing is about jumping. If you think about jumping, what we need is a check variable going on, and we know that that's the case. And as a matter of fact, we sort of hidden, uh, well, we didn't hide, it's in the docs. We've hidden a property called uh, ground. So any object that is being controlled will have a property called ground. And if you set ground to false, then it won't go left and right anymore, because that always bothers me a little bit. Uh, I don't mind it sometimes. You guys probably like it, for those of you who do platformers, you know, like that, where you can jump up in the air and then use your left and right keys or your, your A and D keys to sort of move the jump to the left or move the jump to the right. Well, in physics, that doesn't happen. So it, it's up to you. You know, you, you could keep it so that you can move as you're in the air. But what we've done is said, hey, you can move left and right when you're on the ground, otherwise any movement comes from your physics, uh, comes from your momentum in the air. All right, so how do we handle that then? Uh, when we go to do our jump right here, and this is right here, uh, well, let's let's start off this way. Anytime we hit the ground, so up, if we go up here, where was it? We have contact somewhere. There it is, contact. We don't even want to turn the objects to black right now. Oh, by the way, there was a slight typo in there. We're going to get an error as the as we say when we contact an object if the object type is a rectangle. Watch this. I think we'd, we'd be getting an error when we're in here. We're going to run that in a browser again. Have it in the browser here. Let's just open this up to see if we had errors. Yeah, there it is. Object is undefined. I forgot to fix this up on the last one. Uh, what we really want to do is OB, if obj ampersand ampersand object type um, well, actually, we're, this is physics follow, so what have I been adjusting? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I just adjusted the master copy of the physics follow. <laughs> well, hopefully we still have that master copy. I had intended to copy the um, uh, code over into this side scroller thing. <laughs> so we just uh, completely overwrote our last file. So I think I had uploaded that to the server, which means as long as I don't upload this to the server, I still have a copy of what we had built before. Anyway, I was I was going to pop on back to physics follow and just fix that up there as well. Uh, but now I don't have to because I am in physics follow. So what was that? Uh, the issue is when we contact something, we really are receiving a couple of variables there is like that. Uh, the first one is the Zim object that we're contacting. So this is a circle as it moves around in physics. Anytime it contacts something, this runs right here. We run this function, arrow function. We're given which Zim object we hit, and we're given a physics object that, that we hit. Well, the borders don't have a Zim object associated with them, so they're only physics objects which means if we ask for only the Zim object here, when we hit a border, this is null. And then we're trying to say null.type double equals rectangle. We can't do that. So we have to ask first, 
is there a physics object, or is there a Zim object, sorry, is there a Zim object, and then is the Zim object a type rectangle, at which point we can turn it to black. Anyway, if we hit any object, it doesn't really matter, if we hit any object, this is when we want to say circle dot ground is equal to true. Uh, unless you don't want the ground to be the top uh, physics border, but you know, that's it's a little bit precise, isn't it? I mean, if you're jumping up high, you probably take off the top uh, physics border, possibly, so that you could jump higher than the screen. Um, anyway, otherwise you probably don't want the top, maybe even you don't want the sides to be the ground, but you, you could deal with that. You would just ask, basically, you would collect the physics object as well and say, you know, unless it's the physics object is equal to physics dot top or physics dot border top is it? I can't remember if it's physics dot top or border top, something like that. So you could uh, say don't set the ground to true if you hit that. All right, so anyway, we've set the, the ground to true there, and now uh, we only want to be able to jump if, if the ground is true, so we would say if circle dot ground and the key code is 38, so that will mean that we can jump then. Um, now, if we want to ever jump again, oh, nowhere are we say, setting it to false. So that would we'd still be jumping all the time because nowhere did we set the ground to false. It's in here, in this function, where we apply the impulse that we can now say circle.ground is equal to false. So as soon as we jump, we have no ground anymore. We have to wait until we hit something and then we get the ground. So that's the little fudge there to make sure that we can only jump once. So sit down here and I can arrow up and move along, and, but I can only jump once. So I'm sitting here hitting the arrows and you can see that it just, can you hear me go tap, 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 but it only does that jump when we hit the ground. That's super. Do you want to see what this looks like with a couple more platforms in it? I know it's not five minutes, but don't you just want one more set of platforms in there? <laughs> Let me take a second. It's kind of, kind of a lame game, isn't it? So uh, we'll, we'll just copy that whole thing there and we'll shift it over. We'll put it at a thousand and maybe a little bit higher, shall we? Uh, obviously. Uh, I don't know. Do you think we can make 150? Um, you would then oh, something went wrong oh we consted that const platforms okay fine uh, platforms two i guess should be good okay and refresh here oh i can see it i can see a platform oh big, whoa it's a big one can i jump from that can i get on going backwards <laughs> yes just barely can I go under? I can't slip through there. It'd be fun to be able to slip through, wouldn't it? Anyway, hey, cool. We got a platformer going on. I'm, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Dum, 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 boop. All right. Well, I think that that is quite enough. These things are only supposed to be, uh, you know, a few minutes. So we will bring it to the end screen. Woohoo! Coding in five minutes with Zim plus an extra 20 minutes of talk. <laughs> I'm Inventor Dan Zen, or Dr. Abstract. Come on into Zim at zimjs.com slash slack and join us in the conversation there. Have a great day or night. Ciao.